I came here to Northgate High School to watch this rap battle and see who has the best talent. The youth is the future. I'm here to see which one of them is fit for my new record label. I want to make so much money off of them and also so much good music, bringing all the fame. I want to be controlling their career, but they're also going to be able to go interact with their fans and make me more money. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident going into this rap battle, you know. Uh, Capra Kermit has a reputation of smelling really bad, so, you know, I think that gives me the advantage by a lot, and uh, I think I'm going to get this dub. You see it? What that means is this is Sally Sun, well, Jinchen, and Gosling, that's the lead, 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 because I don't want to be in the DS Sun, I don't want to be in the DS Sun, I don't want to be in the DS Sun. Welcome to the North Gate Rap Battle. Yeah. 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 On this side, we have Lil Cooch. Yeah. Yeah. And over here, we have Capra Kermit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll take this one. That's an awful dog coffee pot. Oh! Should I touch it? Probably not. Whoa! The awfully hot coffee pot symbolizes how exquisite his um, Mr. Cooch's lyrics are and how much symbolism he can derive from such simple things. It's truly fascinating. I'm allergic to cheese. Oh! When I eat it, it makes me sneeze. <laughs> oh! You guys feel that? That's the breeze! <laughs> oh! Cheese is Lil Cooch's kryptonite. Revealing that to your enemies shows his boldness. It's truly captivating how he uses such lyrics. Yo, when I heard that Lil Cooch was rapping about cheese, I was so confused because what if he was rapping about mozzarella? You guys like mozzarella? I love yeah. mozzarella. But when I heard he was rapping about like that Gouda stuff, I was like, dang. I'm, I'm, I like this guy, because I hate Gouda. Y'all hate Gouda? Yeah. 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 You like Gouda? You look like a goose. Oh! oh! Are you an angle? Because you're obtuse. Oh! oh! Hold on, let wrong? me finish this off. Let me finish this off. It's gonna reproduce! Oh! Oh! <laughs> When Professor Cooch refers to his um, opponent as being obtuse, he's actually referencing his first year geometry course, in which he got a C in. It's truly exquisite the way he uses his words. Uh, you went off the hook by making me feel embarrassed when I, when you, um, when you said that I was never going to make it, when I was never going to, um, Lil Cooch's performance was impeccable. His lyrics were outstanding. He has the traits of a future star. I know I can use him to make him something great, but we also have to see what Capra Kermit has to offer. Sweet! Called my dad uh, short. That was a little far, but you know, uh, it's all fun and games. You know, in the end, we're all friends. So um, I hope I hope he finds love in his life. Yeah, I thought I thought it was a little bit uncalled for, but I mean, that's the rap world. Good one, Jimmy. You know, I just feel like yeah, it was just it was it was cool though. The raw emotion in that performance was amazing. I 
felt so many emotions that I didn't think I'd be feeling. I already know who won in my heart, but that was an amazing performance from both the rappers. During the rap battle, I felt like I was feeling <laughs> excited because I get to rap and stuff. After much careful consideration from me, I deduce that the winner of the Northgate rap battle is Little Cooch! Yeah! Yeah! Well, when I lost, I felt like my life just ended. I lost my hat, but I found talent. Little Cooch, he doesn't smell bad. He's a uh, He's an, ama he's an amazing lyricist, uh, and I think he'll be able to do great things in the future once he joins my company. So, you won the rap battle. I've seen great talent in you. You're in, you want to come? Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep, you got talent, kid.